No in the no column. How you doing, sir? Why are you set up here? Uh, do you know that they're murdering babies like right in your backyard? No. Yeah, right around the corner from here. See that light right there? Make a left there and it's one business down. Okay, what's this got to do with here? What does Christianity look like in a culture that murders God's image bearers? What did the church look like in Nazi Germany? As what does it got to do with here, what they're doing over there? What are you saying? Are you, are you a Christian? Yeah. Okay, so if you're a Christian, correct? What does God's word say about those who are being taken away to death? Being led to the slaughter? Why what is you set up over there is my question. Oh, we were there yesterday, sir. So and we were there this you? morning and we're here now. Because it's the Christians who are at peace and at comfort with mass murder in their land. Let me tell you something. Let me ask you something. You have a children's ministry? What? You have a children's ministry? How about chosen? No. Do you have a children's ministry? Yes. Okay. So, it, would your response be to somebody walking in and killing children in the children's ministry be the same as it is to all these children being murdered right around the corner from here? Is that one of those, sir? It's like, see what we're here for? There you go. Hey, where's it going? Watch your back. Watch your back. You know, we're asking people, what does their Christianity look like in a culture of mass murder? What did the Christian church in Nazi Germany look like in the midst of a Holocaust? Do you know that right, right behind your building, they are mass murdering children four times a week? Huh? Who's that? Bread and Roses. Right around the corner. What is it? An abortion clinic? Yes, it is. Man, we don't support that. We didn't say you supported it. As Christians, are you supposed to just be like, well, we don't support that? Or are you supposed to defend those being taken away to death? As God's Word says. What did James 127 say? Practicing pure and undefiled religion look like? Right. Well, what does it look like? And that's why I ask people, what does your Christianity look like in a culture that is mass murdering God's image bearers? You have nothing to do with it either way. You see, the truth of the matter is, is that most Christians today are what's called ageists. They're prejudiced against God's image bearers. And like I was trying to ask him, if, if they were coming in to kill the children in your children's ministry, would your reaction be the same as it is to them killing children right around the block? Because if it, if it isn't, then there's a problem. Because then your Christianity isn't matching. It's putting value on some over others. God ordained the church. What's that? God ordained the church, mm -hmm. and he said that we are to honor the government. And the government is the one that is to take care of the lawlessness. Brother, okay. uh, we have to say, come on. First off, that's not, that's, that's not a, a, a very good interpretation of Romans 13 and Romans 11. That's an excuse to not do anything in the midst of a holocaust, sir.